Hello everybody, welcome to Chow Time. I am Spike Spencer and today we are making salsa. Hi, 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 yeah. Yes, we are, salsa. Now I live in uh, Texas where you are judged by your salsa. Uh, every restaurant, every Mexican restaurant will give you salsa. That They're gonna bring you salsa no matter what. I'm wearing my Australia shirt today, Australia because I lived in Australia for two years and I never found any Mexican food. <laughs> it was very sad. But uh, some of the places were pretty good. It was more Spanish than Mexican sometimes. So there were some, some good food, but it wasn't Mexican food and it wasn't Tex-Mex. Uh, and they did not know what salsa was. I kid you not. I'd say, can I have some salsa, chips and salsa? They would bring over a bottle of hot sauce. Like, uh, yeah, like Cholula or something like that. They go, hey y'all, I'm like, that's not salsa. It is. <laughs> it's salsa. Nope, that is hot sauce. Salsa is what we're going to make today. All right, let's get started. Very, very simply, we're going to start off with onion. So all you need is a blender. Now, you don't have to have uh, a blender. You could have the uh, hand blender. You can always have that. Uh, that's what I like to use very often. Uh, you know how much I love my hand blender. Um, you don't have to have that, but you can have. A, you have to have a blender of some kind, unless you want to go old school with a mocha head thing. That's the thing. It's a bowl, and you have a grinder, and you grind the whole thing up. You can do that if you want to. I mean, purist, uh, that's fine. What we need, I'm going with half an onion to start with. I may go with more than that. And you know, the funny thing is, while you're making uh, salsa, you can also make pico de gallo because it's the same ingredients, really. Uh, but we're just going to go with salsa today. I'm going to cut this into nice big old chunks. I'm going to pop, start off with half an onion in there. Uh, we have a tomato, regular full tomato. Pop it in there. You know, I, I started uh, in the restaurant when I was, uh, gosh, 18. I worked at a restaurant, uh, Mexican restaurant called Cuellar's. And I made the big salsa in a big, big tub. And they used to have this, it's kind of like my, my little immersion blender, but it had this big one, they called it the boat motor. It was like honking and make these big, huge batches. That was pretty amazing, actually. Uh, okay, you wanna have a garlic clove or two, maybe three, depends on what you feel like. I like some good garlic in there, so I'm gonna put all that garlic in here. Get all of it out of there. You want some cilantro. Definitely gotta have cilantro. Um, we got the cilantro, some salt and pepper. Throw that in there. You're gonna want some uh, lemon, lime. I'm gonna do both. You can do lemon or lime, doesn't really matter. A way to get a little extra juice out of these guys is to roll them out. I hope some of my friends from Australia are watching. Uh, I did, it was fun because I was working at this where I went to uh, chef school over there. And so I had to work in a restaurant for a little while to work with my student visa. And so I was working in a restaurant there and uh, became friends with uh, the chef. Well, he was friends first, but uh, so he let me work there. Great guy, Simon. Hey Simon, what's up buddy? And I had them over one night and I was trying some different salsa recipes out. I'm gonna do half this lemon first. There we go, half a lemon. So I had them over and I tried five different recipes, five different salsa recipes. And this one is very, very simple, straightforward. Everything's fresh. Everything's fresh except for tomatoes. I have a one can of tomatoes. There we go. All right, the only thing I have left here now are jalapenos. Hey everybody, let's get some jalapenos. Get them in there. Uh, these are great because I, I grew these myself out there. And I'm just going to chop them big. Prop them in there. I don't mind them. You never know what's going to happen, how spicy they might be. Sometimes they hit them like, wow. Uh, other time, no big deal. The only other thing I like to put in is a little bit of cumin. Uh, cumin just adds a depth of flavor that I just really, really like. Okay, we got our cumin in there. We got everything we need in there, I do believe. Now, we may need a little bit of water. If you need some water, I have a little extra water to throw in. You may not need that. Let's put the 
lid on here. All right, ready? Here we go. I turn it, always turn it all the way down before I do things like this. Uh, here we go. That's about it. Here's the thing about salsa. It can be as chunky as you want it, or, oh man, that smells just like Cuellar's. Uh, and on the border, I worked it on the border as well. They have some really good stuff. Uh, let's test this out. I have a spoon, here we go. I'll check it out, see what we're dealing with here. What do I need to do? Mm. Go ahead, good. I don't really need that in. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> let's try it again. That's actually really good. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm good. That is bright, it is fresh, it is so easy to make. Now a few different tweaks you can make with this. You can uh, char the jalapenos, uh, you can char the tomatoes. You can get a nice, deep, rich flavor uh, out of those. You can serve it fresh like this. You can really grind the crap out of it and make it just super, super smooth. Um, that's as, as smooth as I want to get it, that right there. I like it maybe a little chunkier than that. You can also take all of this and then pop it on the oven, uh, on, the, on the stove for a little while, and warm it up. I've had some really good salsas that are warm. So it really is, it's like when you're in Italy, the red sauce on this side of the mountain could be different from the sauce on the other side of the mountain. You know, the north is going to have their style of red sauce, the south is going to have theirs, and the east and the west and all that. It's the same thing with salsas. Uh, everywhere you go, every Mexican restaurant you go to, you're going to have a different type of salsa. So uh, hopefully this one, this is a base, very, very simple. Put it in a blender and you are done. And I guarantee you, if you make it like this, you will never want store-bought salsa again. That is salsa for my Australian friends. Yeah, right. Salsa. Okay, that's it for Chow Time Salsa Edition. I'm Spike Spencer, and I wish you lots of yumminess every day. Bye.